Sup broski! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Skyru and today I am going to show you how I draw an Among Us character step by step. Let's get started. My first step I usually do is guidelines. So I'm going to start off by sketching out a big oval that I'll be using for the body. The next guideline is of course the usual cross for the face or in this case the visor. Before I do the horizontal line for the cross, I'm going to sketch a line where the top of the visor is going to be at. Then I'm going to draw the rest of the cross. With the horizontal cross line, I'm only going to go so far with that line to the right side of the body to give me an idea of how wide the visor is going to be. Next, I'm going to sketch another line where the bottom of the visor is going to be at. Imagine a line straight down on the side of the oval to help me later when I work on the body so I can check to see if the body and face are in line. The next step I do is of course the sketching. While I sketch, I also do a few more guidelines here and there as I go on. I do that to be sure of I don't make too many mistakes with the proportions and possibly no mistakes at all. I'll be starting with the visor first to sketch. On the opposite side of the cross guideline, I'm going to sketch a slightly round line in between the top and bottom visor guidelines. From there, I'll be working my way to the other side, creating a shape that kind of looks like a capsule peel shape to me. After the visor is done, next is top of the head. So from the side of the visor that's closest to the cross guy line, I'm gonna sketch upwards a shape that looks like an upside down letter U. From the right side of the upside down letter U shape, I'm going to bring that line downwards for the body. Before I continue on with the rest of the body, I'm gonna sketch out the backpack. Or to be technical, the primary life support subsystem but I'll just call it the backpack because it's faster to say. The top of the backpack line starts around 3 quarters near the top of the visor area. So that's where I marked the guideline at. For the bottom of the backpack, it ends a little above the height of the legs. But before I marked the guideline, I hovered my pencil across and back over the stomach area to measure the size of the stomach so I don't mess up the stomach and backpack proportions. Before I continue the rest of the backpack guidelines, I'm going to sketch out the guidelines for the legs. So I'm sketching out a small circle for the right leg. Then at the lower part of the small circle, I draw a line across to show me where the bottom right foot is going to be at. Reason why I do this is because both feet aren't at the same length. The left foot length is actually a little above where the right foot ends at. So on the left side, I marked a line where the left foot will end at. I also sketched out two more lines for the crotch area, as well as with the top line going all the way to the other side. So I can use it for my next small circle for the left leg. The bottom one is for where the crotch line will begin at, and then the top one is for where it'll end at. With that done, I'm going to sketch a thin oval or another capsule pill looking shape for the gap in between the legs. Then I'll be drawing another small circle for the left leg. Now I'll be finishing up the backpack guy line and sketch. So I measured by look on the right side the width of the backpack. Once I figured out how wide to make it, I then drew a small line downwards for the guy line. Next, I began to sketch out the backpack, starting from the top. I made a roundish curve connecting to the next near guy line. After, I sketch another roundish curve finally connecting me to my last guy line. Next, I'll be finishing up the leg sketches. So from where the body line last ends at, I'm going to finish sketching downwards. I will be making basically a rectangle shape, but with the edges having a little soft curve to it. After, I'm going to sketch a slight curve line from the top left side of the right leg for the crotch area. From there, I repeat the same process I did for the right leg for the left leg till I get to the last side. On the left side of the left leg has a slight angle leaning towards the left. It goes upward with that angle all the way till about halfway at the stomach. Then from there to up to the visor, there's another slight angle leaning towards the right. So that's what I'll be trying to duplicate. While imitating those lines, I made one more guideline about halfway on the stomach to check if the measurement is right. Then I continued on with the remaining line, making the sketch finished. Now that the sketch is done, I am going to line art and color this. So that process is going to be time-lapsed, but I will show you the finished product afterwards.
yourself Cause not a single one of us wants to die here Right now No, 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 no I think we're done Here is the finished product now. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful to you in any way. I will be continuing to make more tutorials, so stay tuned for those. If you think you'll be interested in those future tutorials or future videos, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. Peace!